Well kids, I gave it the old college try. I gave it the old college try. Live streaming with a GoPro is such a pain in the ass. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it until there's until they pull their heads out and get their technology straight. It's just not worth it. I have tried every angle and it's so hit and miss. We've had some success. We've had more failures than success and I'm just not going to do it until there's a better alternative. That's really frustrating. Hey, keep it down. So, we're just going to uh, ride in to Jimbocho. It's a beautiful day. People are still going to work. If you can stay in, please stay in. That's the uh, extent of their lockdown. It's not a strict police enforced lockdown. Hence why I am heading out to uh, get a cup of coffee and take you guys along for a little ride. We could all use some outdoor time. Wow, long line for masks. These people are all waiting in line and they're spaced out. They're keeping social distance. Just yesterday, nobody was keeping a social distance. The prime minister announces a state of emergency and suddenly everybody's keeping a safe social distance. I wish they had implemented this earlier rather than waiting for a flare-up. So we've got a month of lockdown. It goes through Golden Week, which is the beginning part of May, and that's when the kids are supposed to go back to school, so May 6th. Of course, these plans can change, just like everywhere else, you know, there's no point declaring this scourge over until it's actually over and things are safe and people can move about freely without um, the fear of getting infected or infecting others if, God forbid, you're infected. Uh, I shouldn't have been in this lane. There's a cop right up there waiting for people to cross this yellow line. You do not cross yellow lines in Japan. Hey boys! Guy was a mouth breather. So I'm going to be bringing you as many live streams as I can and and rides during this difficult time for everybody. A lot of you watching are in a much more severe state than we are here where you're forbidden from going outside. Hey, now is that safe, sir? Excuse me, sir? Put your hands on the handlebar, sir. I've got one job later today. I'm going to Shibuya, actually. Today's job is for Japan's Top Inventions, which is a series that I do. It's a great show on NHK and it's amazing how many inventions this little country has pumped out over the decades. So many. There's so many. Like even the, the QR code? That's a Japanese invention. I had no idea. Which stemmed from barcodes not being able to be read speedily enough. A lot of people on bicycles avoiding the trains good idea but the, the invention is just it's hit after hit after hit how does a small country isolated country like japan crank out so much stuff it's just amazing to me but take a look at japan's top inventions on nhk world i'll put a link in the description it's a cool show it's really well produced and yours truly adds a voice to it. Alright, this is Tokyo Dome. Tokyo Dome City right over here on our right. Some of these uh, kind of antiquated amusement park rides they still have there. And we'll be in Jimbocho before you know it. I left my son at home. 
and he has a game addiction. He's been off a month already and he's done very little in the way of homework. And I've gotten really ticked off. Yesterday was exceptionally ticked off. I was gone for work for five hours, came back, and he had a guilty dog look on his face. He had been playing the entire time. So I have confiscated everything. All he has is analog entertainment, books. Daddy, why? You know why, punk. All right, we're in Jimbocho. We were supposed to be live streaming this. Thank you, GoPro. You screwed me again without a kiss. I'll tell you, I need that cup of coffee. So my wife still goes to work. And I've been harboring her. Is that the right word? Harping on her, not harboring her. I wasn't a har I'm har not harboring anybody. I was harping on her to telecommute. They call it telewalking, teleworking here. She says, oh, it's, I'm uh, essential. My job's essential. Well, she works in an office and it's a, they do counseling, mental health counseling. So yeah, there is, there's, there's face to face, there's uh, online like emailing and phone counseling. Well, right now is not the time to be doing face to face counseling, okay? Well, if somebody's suicidal or something, of course, but she doesn't seem to be too concerned about this. I'm the worry wart. I'm the warden of the, the house. I've got to keep everybody in line. I've got to confiscate all the electronics. A lot of people on bicycles. I like it. This is a good thing. I bet your bicycle sales are up. But what I don't like is I'm still seeing a lot of people going to work. Here's Glitch Coffee right up here on the corner. They're a small chain here in Tokyo. They roast their own beans. It's good stuff. We're gonna park on the sidewalk, why not? We'll get it to go and sit outside on that bench maybe and just chill. Okay, now I'm gonna pretend that we're live streaming. I'm gonna go up there and order a cup of coffee from the window. Uh, we've got a good selection of beans too. Oh, I might have to get some of these. We'll come back. Sit down. This is glitch inside. There's the roaster over there. So they do all the roasting in here and Really friendly staff. Good shop. Here's all the beans. Wow, some pricey ones. 4,600 yen. 100 grams. Holy moly. Small batch coffee. Okay, I did some stuff. Hmm. Look at this little Honda over here. I'm not sure I get the attraction of that style of bike. Yeah, it's cute, but what's what's the attraction? I've been wanting to go to this hilltop hotel. I think they have a, a really good buffet there, and it's kind of a cool little location, but it's a little secluded space up in there. This is uh, Ochano Mizu. We're cutting through right now. Ochano Mizu is the musical instrument place. There's all kinds of guitar stores, on either side of the street, they're all over the place. So if you're looking for a musical instrument and you're in Tokyo, come to Ochano Mizu. If you like this kind of content, be sure and subscribe to our channel and uh, stay tuned for more Moto Vlogs to come. I'm Peter Von Gom. Happy to have you along. Take good care of you guys and stay safe. Wash those hands. We'll be in touch very, very soon. Be sure and check out the Peter Von Gom Japan live channel. We'll be live streaming all over Tokyo.